Hello and welcome to Sandman Gaming. This is Sandman signing in. And today we're going to take a look at the Drake Dragonfly. This is a two seater hover bike. And it's pretty fun to play around on. It goes fast. It has two small shotguns mounted to the front of it. So it flies fast. It's pretty durable pretty robust little hover bike you can get picked off on it or fairly easily the passenger I don't know if this is always the case but for me I always end up facing backwards but as a passenger I can carry my own weapon and fire at people who are behind us so I guess that's a bonus I don't think I can turn around now. Let's see if I can figure out how to exit the passenger seat without hitting. I'm going to have to hit the key. All right. Hitting the key. I have exit seat bound on the throttle. Or not the throttle, but the stick. So, like I said, it's got two shotguns. It's pretty sleek looking bike in my opinion there are there is at least one other bike in the game and I think that there's two more due to be released the Nox is the one that is currently in game that everyone can use and that is a single seater and I believe it has armaments as well it's a little smaller but it's it's just different it's more more of a racer than the dragonfly is. Dragonfly is more utility. Let's see here. Let's do this. All right. So this is a Drake interplanetary sh thing, and it shares design elements with its ships. Let's see. We'll look down at this MDF multifunction display, and it's very similar to a lot of the ones I have on my my Cutlass. So there's that. The controls similar. I could cut power to all of this right now, but I don't because I want to because I want you all to see it. I wish that this linked to the heads up on my helmet instead of just having it here on the bike because that's really hard to see when you're actually trying to move the bike around. But aside from that, it's a fun little bike to jet around on. And we might take it out for a spin. Let's kick that on. And... We're going to get off. Will it let me get off? Let me off. Okay. Now, I am not sure what these little arms are here for. I'm sure they have a purpose. I don't know what they are yet. I have not figured that out. When I figured that out, I will let you all know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this ship or not either because some other people have lost theirs already. This was on loan during the recruitment drive that they did in January. And I don't think I recruited anyone in that time frame. So it just is what it is. I should go away for me. Now let's take this thing for a spin. We're going to first, we're gonna turn the engines back on. Come on, look down. Now, something I noticed is for whatever reason, it wants to jump me way up here in the cargo hold, which makes me decidedly uncomfortable. So we're gonna shoot out the back. Pop up. We are not going to shoot out the back. We are going to shoot out the back. No, we do not want to go back in there. We're going to stop right here. We're going to cut the engines. I have not... I, I can't get this thing to strafe up or down to save my life. Like It should be going down right now. I can get it to strafe from side to side, which works for me. But I cannot get it to go up and down. Like The altitude it likes to hover at is the altitude it likes to hover at. So we're going to kill the engines and drop it. If I had one serious complaint, that would be it. Because I can't just exit the bike and get back on it on certain surfaces. 
as you can see here, I pulled out another one earlier and tried to use it. Now, it is difficult at best to hear me right now because of the wind. And so we're going to do something about that. Auto options, audio. All right. There we go. Sound effects have been turned down. I don't know why. Why I am all of a sudden moving hecka slow and I can't seem to run. There we go. Now it's letting me run. Weird. But anyway, so we're going to take this cut or take this this dragonfly out for a quick spin and then that'll be that. So, we're got now something I discovered they are working on the ground vehicle mechanics and physics and that is not what I wanted let's get back in the but they're, they're, they're currently reworking the ground vehicle mechanics and physics I will be showing off all the ground vehicles I have at my disposal currently. One of them is a placeholder for the tank, which I am looking forward to having. Alrighty. And it wants to roll, but that's fine. We're just gonna turn. We're going to level off, we're going to throttle up, and we're going to go. So we're off. We're going to clear the armistice zone. This thing is a magnet for these giant cactuses out here. It likes to fly straight into them, mostly because I can't steer. So here we are cruising along. And this definitely reminds me of a speeder from Star Wars. Like, just the way that it handles the sound effects, everything else. It is, like, when it banks, I don't know, let's, let's go to third person and I'll do a bank right now. It drifts. So, as it should, as you would expect from something that's hovering a few feet off the ground. I want to fix the roll and get it level, but all right. So here's my two shotguns going off. Ba bam! Ba bam! I'm fairly certain that they are not ballistic in nature. So there's that. So these make good little assault bikes. They are cheap, they are inexpensive, and you can get a lot of them. And that will conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed the brief overview of the Drake Dragonfly. I personally like it as a fun toy to play around on and cruise with, but its survivability in actual combat against anything but a guy on the ground it remains to be seen, because I have not faced other players with one of these. Ooh, and I have no idea what I hit. Well, I guess that's the end of our ride. I hit something, probably phased through a cactus because I was moving too fast. So this has been Sandman. Uh, like I said, hope you enjoyed the video. Signing out.